makes the call. And he gets wrapped up immediately by Grover Stewart. Forward progress will get him a yard. That's it. I do expect the Raiders to take more than it was to start fast in this half. They've done that a lot this season. Colts have defended the tight end well this season. Carr packs the ball. And it's handled on a hot throw by Darren Waller. And that's enough for a first down. This is a different level of tight end. But look, notice the toughness he showed there, taking the hit from Kari Wills at the end of that play. Now in Colts territory at the 49. Back to the ground game, the spin move by Jacobs. And was able to pick up three extra yards after contact. Six yard gain for Jacobs. Replacing him at running back. We good on five. All right, here we go. Second and four. Bootleg. Carr using his legs. And he angles for the first down. We asked him about running this year. He said, this is the best I've ever felt physically at this stage. That's so well. First down. Pump. Throw. Carr. Incomplete. Looking for Waller on the play. Trying to go back shoulder with him there. Read the left chemistry that they have off the field has translated onto the field. Ninth play. It's a trick play. Toss. Zay Jones. Open man downfield. Nelson Aguilar. A little razzle dazzle for the Raiders. And he's cool. That'd be Robert we're Jones. Good, we're good. But excuse me, his dad is Robert Jones and Jeff, Jeff Blake. Jeff Blake, Blake, the quarterback. Give up the middle. It's Jacobs trying to wrestle inside. Yeah, I know his dad's at home right now. Hold up a second. I'm, I'm the goal. There you go. One day, set. One day, set. Take it. Carr out of the pocket. And he will toss it right towards our camera. Incomplete. Pressure from the team plays, and they have to settle for three. Carlson knocks it through. She's there, huh? If Florida had not lost last night, that would have been winner who definitely goes to the college football playoff. No doubt. Now they could be the now they could be the spoiler. Rivers, rainbow, it's too far. Lunging attempt by Wilkins. NFL Today update. We said it's and the Washington football team are riding right now. <laughs> and they're building that team similar to how San Francisco built theirs with the defensive line first. Jack Doyle on the receiving end. Fighting for extra yards. They're going to mark him short. Rivers cannot believe it. He thought Doyle had out on the field. I think as we go along with this Joe, Jacoby Brissett package, Ian, we're going to see more and more plays out of it because they're going to need to break some tendencies as they go along hey, with, kill, with kill, this package. Kill, kill. Oh, man, man, man. So it's Brissett under center. <laughs> Running play, need less than a yard. They get what they needed across the 35. So they pick up three. Should mention, Philip Rivers is not 100%. He's been dealing with a toe injury. Uh, practice is not necessarily getting the normal practice time in, but you don't worry about it being mentally ready. This is a guy who maxes out even when he's healthy on the mental side of the game. And the level of toughness that he shows his teammates, the 39-year-old. On the handoff for Taylor, modest gain of a yard hit by Kwiatkowski. We send it down to Evans. Double team right there. And now you've got the lane. T.Y. Hilton did his job outside on the perimeter, occupying the corner. And then Jonathan Taylor went for the extra. Deke Rhodes to find a Colt rookie that ran that many yards for a touchdown. It works to Henry Ruggs. Looks like he came up just short of the marker. Six yards on the pass. On the ground, Jacobs. How many hats to the ball? That was the description that everybody gave when talking about the Indianapolis defense and how quickly they converge. And watch 99 control things right there. DeForest Buckner.
Nice feature on him on the NFL today. Talking about coming to Indianapolis and his role and what their defense has to offer. Carr, the dump off to Jacobs. Accelerates and crosses midfield.